Yeah, I mean, she jiggles. It's like a bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, Jesus. There's just some of the She does have an that, ET. Like... Hey, guys, welcome to Common Commentary, the show where we... Hi. Good, wholesome fun. Good family fun. Welcome it's to Source for the Pack. whole family, even children. Uh, we have a new uh, we have a new Facebook banner photo. Yeah! Check out Jason Polly. Jason Polly. With all his for human people swag. Swag. JP. JP. And check out all these other photos that we incredibly appreciate, Look but we only this. have room for one featured hey. photo. Hey Sam, are are you listening to me? <laughs> Sam's funny. You guys know that Sam is like really funny. When we put Sam on camera, people think he's like super cute, and then once yeah, they do. They love hey, Sam, like guys. Come on, Sam, get over here. Sam, Sam, come, come here. Come right 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 for a second. Uh, just smile at the camera for a second. There we oh, go. Look at now that. do a closed mouth smile. Now you're sad. Now do that noise you do when I walk past you when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Yeah. 700,000 hits. Let's go. Thank you. Get right. out of here, Sam. Thank you. Oh, Goodbye, Riley. Put in the title, <laughs> Little Boy Shows His Wiener. Convicts escape from prison with helicopter. Two Canadian pioneers escape. <laughs> I said pioneers. <laughs> <laughs> two two Can pioneers! The worst part is nobody noticed. I know. <laughs> Guys, wait. We're like, good. Uh, yeah. Two Canadian prisoners who were probably also pioneers escaped from prison <laughs> with a helicopter and a couple of ropes. And we asked you guys, what's the most daring escape that you've ever heard of? Jersey857 said, I escaped from my wife four years ago by saying I'm going to the store for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, she knows she's gone. But it is pretty she knows she's gone. You say you go for a pack of cigarettes and I think you should be back soon. Honey, that was three years ago. <laughs> 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 Didn't have a conversation with the woman. <laughs> well, I know, fairness, I did ask him for a pack of cigarettes. He rightfully got Sweetie, away from that. Sweetie, what do you think of the current political climate in our country? Well, I'm a heavy I'm gonna get honest. some cigarettes. There's gotta be some interesting things about gun control. <laughs> Woman survived a wolf attack and then she drove Wait, to the say hospital. Say it again! Oh, say God. it again! <laughs> Woman survives wolf attack and then she drove to the <laughs> hospital. I don't know if it's in the footage, but Elliot said a wolf. Yeah. Woman survived a wolf attack. Woman survived a wolf attack yeah. and then wolf she drove attack. to the hospital. Uh, <laughs> we asked you guys, what's the craziest people versus animal encounter that's happened to uh. you or someone you know? I don't know if you guys know this or not, if you've picked up on the theme when we ask you questions, but we really, we really just want to be entertained yeah. by stories and yeah. tales. Yeah. And as of late, you guys have been doing a really good job. Yeah, great yeah. job. Yeah, um, like check out this one. Yeah. Anna Marie Dan said, I killed a rat with a remote control. It was pretty gory stuff, blood everywhere. See, that's, that's the kind That's of not an animal attack. You murdered a rat with a... Oh, if that but, rat was infiltrated I bet, you know in what? the house, no, it's, if it's, it's totally legal. It's that's trespassing, true. you kill the rat. Protect your castle. Well, Protect your castle. I tell that to Sarah all the time. Like, there's crickets that somehow sneak their way into our condo, and I'm like, I killed that shit. She's like, that's bad luck. For the cricket, you know what I'm saying? And one of the neighbor kids got in, and I was like, uh-uh. Blame him, dude. No, sir. Get I out of here. I him with a bat, and he was gone. <laughs> bad luck for the kid, man. Yeah. My castle. My castle! I would be like I'm to buy here. some Girl Scout cookies for, oh my god! Hold on. The Fort Royal said... It's a good one. Hold on. Steve's excited. The Fort Royal said, got attacked by a hobo, he took my shoe. <laughs> well, at that point, he if he has shoe. your shoe, you should give him the other one. Neither of you are going to be happy with just gonna one win shoe. At this point. RHV87 says, I took a dump on a seagull. No biggie. Just thought he might want to know how it feels. You did not. I know. I don't believe it. Have you guys ever been pooped second. on by a bird? Yes. Yeah, nope. yeah I was 100%. In one time, I got crapped on by a bird, and the coach was like, <laughs> You got what? And I was like, a bird pooped on me. Because like, like, I realized that it was funny. Uh, I was like, you're not going to believe this, teacher, man. A bird pooped on me. A bird pooped on me. This is hilarious. And he was like, really? Go shower. That's disgusting. I'm like, you don't have to judge me, dude. This is a funny moment. You don't have to judge me. I'm, I'm 12. I was pooped yeah. on at the pier. And then this Asian lady just came up to me and she goes, oh, it's good luck. And I was like, <laughs> it's good luck. I was like, I don't think it is. Is, is it cricket? good luck? Like, yeah, it's bad luck to kill a cricket. It, it, it's good luck? I think it's an unfortunate <laughs> coincidence. So can I poop out of a window onto someone on the I'm ground really and be like, "It's good work, them!" I'd a lot of if I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, there's one hair going right. I know, I felt he, it. Come here. Okay. He's going right in there. I hate those. It's going right in there. Okay, now you're just. No, you're around. getting. You're missing. No, it. it's missing. So it's there. going right okay. in there. All right, here we yeah. go. This is a clear violation of my personal space. So going from here right to here. Oh, yeah! North Korea attacks South Korea with computers! No coke is so cool. A low blow with a 
cyber. No, no. That's pretty good. Update, though. It turns out it came from a China uh, IP address. Oh. They thought it was North Korea, and then it turns out it's uh, China. But China's got North Korea's backs, you guys, so who knows what's going on? Oh, I'm saying. It's getting hot! I I'm like this saying. comment, guys. Uh, Pepper Floats says, North Korea is like the first slice of bread. No one likes it. Do you know why they said that? What? Because they said, why don't you explain this whole situation in a different type of food <laughs> metaphor form? Yeah. Uh, I got a good one. Sergeant Sprinkles Gaming says, it's like a potato. <laughs> oh, good. Chet Dinosaur says, should be crayfish. Boom. Food metaphor. <laughs> Blaze Jack 08 said, sandwich without mayo. No thanks. I'll starve instead. I don't understand that at all. Because mayo's that, great. I violently hate mayo. Really? A lot of people I you either love hate it mayo. or hate it. You know what I don't like is uh, Cool Whip. A lot of people like don't like Cool Whip. Yeah, really? I prefer the <laughs> way yeah. over the stuff yeah. in the tub. The that sounds like a chemical. It's not I mean, natural. It's uh, all we're chemicals. thinking about calling the stuff <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell uh, that phonetically? Is there a couple of cues? That? How many R's are in that? TSA humiliates a wounded Marine. What the hell? Really? Did they do that? <laughs> Apparently, TSA agents aggressively searched a wounded Marine. Not cool. Causing outrage among senses of decency everywhere. The question we asked you guys was, what do you think should be done about TSA? And do you have any personal TSA stories? Good or bad. Good or bad. I've never had problems. You've never had problems? With I've you? never. I don't travel a lot. But yeah. in, Neither do I. In my travels, I've never had a problem. I think yeah. the, the x-ray thing is kind of intrusive, but if you have a big wiener, you shouldn't be worried about it. X Blindside 7290 says, I'm gonna get shit on for saying this, but I feel it needs to be said. So would everyone rather hear a story about TSA agents going too far or TSA agents not doing their job leading to the deaths of several people? Hmm. Ooh, hard hitting. Hmm. Ooh, Elliot, yeah. do you wanna respond to that? Everything in life is about balance. Canadian Seasons said, my TSA story is great. I was flying on my birthday and they wished me a happy birthday and escorted me to the front of the line. It was a long line. That's very nice. That's that cool. Sweet. They do that? That's really nice. I'll fly on my birthday. It's amazing. I fly on my birthday too. Yeah. That's really I don't cool. know. The cost benefit ratio really works out. If it's your birthday, you don't want to be flying at all. Like, I don't think like, you're already sad. But what if you're going to like a fun destination? Yeah, what if you're going to like Disney World? Or Kokomo. What if you're going to Kokomo? <laughs> I love that. That was my favorite song for so Okay, real quick, right down the line. Uh, when you fly, do you get the x ray or the crotch fondle? I do the x ray. I do the x ray. I don't care either way. Yeah, X-ray shoot. Eh. I'd rather do the X-ray than being fondled. It's kind of fun when you do the X-ray then, because the thing spins around you and you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's also fun so when you get fondled just a little bit, because you're like, I get it. What I like to do when I do the the thing, because you have your hands up like this, I like to think in my head like, yeah, you're looking at my dick, aren't you? Yeah, you're looking. At uh, my I dick. like to combine the two, and when I'm getting X-rayed, I fondle my crotch. All right, so in vitro meat could uh, eventually save the world, and if not, make you puke in the process. Um, it might soon be a reality. It's going to save the world from starvation if they can figure it out and get people to actually eat it. So the question we ask you guys is, would you eat this lab-generated meat? Sounds kind of weird. Butterfly Christie says, I don't agree with calling it feet because it's not fake since it's 100% from the DNA of an animal. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. It was I a pun. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pun. Philip Thomas says, only if they can grow me an in vitro salad and maybe some mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what in vitro sides do you have? I would like to start with an in vitro IPA if I could. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just clone, clone food? Is that all it is? Yeah, it's DNA. Yeah, it's apparently just... it's like hard because they, they start out and they grow it in like a petri dish. Like, yeah. And then it gets bigger. It's like a plant basically, well, but it I don't starts give a shit. in it. I honestly don't give a shit as long as it's good. Well, also, but like, doesn't like genetic like doesn't it degrade the genetics over time? Like, it's not like hey, copying a, a yeah. VHS tape over and over again. I think I they've think got it, it is, down. Though. I think that it is. Is it? Oh, I love that you use a VHS reference. Too. Remember the wiggle lines, like when and you had to use the tracking. Oh, oh it's tracking. Remember yeah. this? Tracking. We take it out. And... No, that's not what you do. Nope, you never do that with VHS. Were you not supposed to do that? No. Did you really? know about the secret tab that allowed you to record over your movies if you if you yeah. moved it? Yeah. No. The same you lift it up. And, and did you know you could put tape over it, like a piece of tape, and it'll work the same way? Mm -hmm. Like if you wanted to take like a movie you bought a Blockbuster and you regretted it, like Dragnet, and then you put it in and you put a piece of tape over it, you could record over it. Do you remember when you rented something from Dragnet? Blockbuster and it hadn't been uh, rewound and you had to wait five minutes Ugh, to rewind? I know. This all happened on a video about in vitro meat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Yeah, he is. We're gonna fuck it. No, Joe, not again. Hey guys, thank you for joining us for comment commentary. Yeah! So uh, much. I hope you loved it. We loved it. 
and stay tuned for this weekend because we got more stuff coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We're, we got some Truth or Dare yeah. stuff. What? We got some uh, the, the movie thing show and the new movie club. What movies did we uh, lo- uh, love this week? The new movie show is going to have Spring Breakers starring boobs. Mm-hmm. And uh, also for the movie club, we watched Nacho Libre. Yeah, corn Get to the, the eyeball. It's a fun flick. Yeah, don't they just murder that guy? Yeah, <laughs> <It's> right. <laughs> he does. It's a fun flick. Uh, I think and there will be bloopers and probably another surprise or two this weekend. So, uh, you guys, thanks for sticking with us all yes. week and today and this weekend. We love you. Uh, yeah. Good. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.